My next guest is a business owner in Seattle, fed up with rising crime, and so he's decided to run for Congress. Nirav Seth is with us. He's the co-owner of Bistro Bafi. First of all, Nirav, tell me what was so bad that happened to you at Bistro Bafi that made you run for Congress. Hey, uh, Stuart. Sorry. Thank you for having me oh, here. here. Yeah, go well, ahead, sir. No, we got you. Go ahead. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you for having me here. And what happened was last Saturday, I got a phone call from my chef saying that it was broken into again, third time in one year. Hmm. And it was not the only incident. This should be an 18th in a whole last year and a half. Oh. The 18 times my business is getting vandalized or broken into for some sort of money. Well, and they leave thousands of dollars of damages. Nirav, um, you're running, I believe, as a Republican for Congress, uh, national office as yes, a Republican. Yes, I am. But why run as a Republican when the state, Washington state, is almost entirely Democrat? Look, what's going on in the Seattle? 134 percent rise in the criminal activity. And I moved to this state in 2015 when, when uh, my wife joined the army. And now I was a Marine myself. Uh, and I'm an immigrant. English is my fourth language. I came here as a student. I was a homeless when I came here. Be from being a homeless to U.S. Marine to U.S. then police officer, then become a successful business owner, it was not an easy uh, journey. But I have done it. This country gave me a platform, support, and this country is a beacon of hope. That's the reason everybody comes to this country. That is true. Not just yeah, that is true. from me. Yes, sir, and it's true. It is still alive. What, it's called what, American Dream. What would the first what would be the first thing that you do if you won a place in Congress? First thing is supporting the law enforcement. There are so much not supported at this moment, defunding the police and not even having the proper equipment. That is, that breaks my heart. I had a meeting with Mayor of Kent saying that they are being forced to follow protocols, but at the same time, they're not getting funded by the state. Okay. Nirav that Chef, is unfortunate. Look, thank you very much for being with us. You're a great patriot and we appreciate that. And we wish you very well thank in you. your political career. Come and see us again soon, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.